This is KTSM 9 News at 10. It's been nearly three months since the August 3rd mass shooting. New tonight, El Pasoans showing mixed emotions about reopening the store where it all happened. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Daniel Marin. This reaction coming despite Walmart's unveiling of a planned memorial. Now, the Walmart is set to open in about two weeks as part of the additions. Uh, it's going to include the memorial, which will be called the Grand Candela. KTSM Niners reporter Selena Quintana spoke with El Pasoans about the reopening. The Walmart is, is, is here to stay, so we're going to have to just try to do our best and move on. Pushing forward and moving on, the Stella Vista Walmart set to reopen November 14th, three months after the mass shooting, and with a memorial that contains 22 aluminum structures, one for each victim lost, grouped together to look like a 30-foot candle. But even that doesn't put some El Pasoans at ease. I think, I think that's nice. I think it's well deserved. They definitely should be doing some kind of display or something that should be commemorating the victims. But as, it's just the opening. I think the opening is way too soon. Some El Pasoans feel the retailer should have waited longer to reopen. I think maybe they should at least wait until the year closes out. Maybe start fresh the new year. Others say this is their store and they're ready to take it back from the violence. It works out for me. It's like I went there all the time to cash my check and get stuff that I need. This is the Walmart that I go to. Walmart says the memorial, which will be on the South End parking lot visible from I-10, is intended to create a place to remember, honor, and celebrate the lives of the victims. But El Paso is known for being one of the safest cities, so I hope they can uh, approach it with ease and calmness. And just, I mean, it's a Walmart, so it provides all your, your needs and your wants, you know. So I just hope they find peace and are able to once again be the city of El Paso that it is. And that was Selena Quintana reporting. One person still remains hospitalized from that mass shooting. Officials from Del Sol Medical Center say that patient is still in critical condition. The hospital says 11 of the 24 people injured in the mass shooting were taken to Del Sol. And there's a group of new lawsuits.